New York Auto Show'un kurucusu ve de müdürü. Mark, this is for the global audience and also for the Turkish American audience. I wanted to say congratulations. This is amazing. You did an amazing, fantastic job again this year too because we go back really long. How many years? Oh, four, five years it's now. Really yeah. True. So it's yeah. This is uh, you know it, 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 what's special about it. It's an international show. So what you have here in New York is really just about every car make and model that. Uh, that the world has to offer, which is always what's exciting. Perfect. And we are right now in the section where you cover the luxurious cars and also the cars that won awards. Right. Just right. today. This yeah. morning, actually. Am I right? Yeah, today was an exciting day for us because uh, we picked the world cars of the year, both in performance and design, green technology, and of course the overall winner, which went to uh, Volkswagen for the second year in a row. Second in a row, the world car of the year was Volkswagen. Was Volkswagen. Uh, last year was the Volkswagen Up, uh, which is sold in many markets around uh, the world. And this year it was the Volkswagen Golf, so mm. it's very exciting for them. We just passed from Jaguar to the GM section. What's special about this car behind us? Well, this was just introduced here at the New York Auto Show, and Land Rover has just been one of the more exciting manufacturers on it because they've really been developing a lot of new products over the last couple of years, and their vehicle sales have been increasing, so they are on a fast track in sort of growing their, their line makes and their models that are all and sales have just been improving uh, for them so well. And uh, how much are they? Well, they'll vary in price. I mean, they have vehicles that start in the high 30s, low 40s, high 30s, and will go up from there over $60,000, dollars $65,000. Hmm. What this section is, what's exciting about the area that we're in here right now, is that we, we created a section for just luxury vehicles. So Jaguar is here, Land Rover is here, Lexus, BMW, Porsche, you know, many of the manufacturers on it. So it's got this kind of wonderful, rich feel in this side of uh, the convention center floor where all the luxury car manufacturers are side by side and, and consumers are going in and just taking a look at just the wonderful exotic cars that there are here. What's uh, different about this one in terms of if you compare it to the one last year and the year before? Well, this, uh, Bugatti keeps on bringing more power under the hood each year. And Some each, power. And each car is actually uniquely built for the customer that's buying it. So there really isn't two Bugattis that are really the same on it. It could be different colors, it could be different kinds of seats on it. So each one is unique. Is it a special order? Is that why? Or is it because the family just wants to do different? Well, when you're buying a car for $1.8 million, dollars, uh, right, million. Okay. then uh, you're, right. you're entitled to a car that's uh, quite unique to us. So it, it is, you know, the ultimate of ultimate uh, sports cars. It's a sold. I remember the first year it was sold and before it was even put here, and right? We understand that there's an order in on this Already. car, so for this but vehicle. You, they cannot let the person. We're not letting this car out until after until the auto show. So uh, this is crazy. This is for the cooler. You're saying absolutely. And I see. Look, look at that. It's it's a, it's a special design. Right. It's a, this this is all fiber uh, on it. Very very strong. Uh, durable kinds of metals and materials that it's made from. Again, not only is this part of where the air spoils come in to cool the engine, you also, of course, have it coming in right here into the engine uh, compartment on it. So there's a lot, a lot of air that's needed to keep this engine running the way that it needs to and keep it running cool. This year, it is even more special because everything is in orange. Uh, we were just with the Bugatti and the Lamborghini and the Lotus. These are as expensive as the Lotus and Lamborghini, but not that much. They look like race cars, typical race cars, but they're more comfortable, I guess. I remember from last year, I must try. If you want to come here, can I sit right next to you? I already have someone sitting right next to me. I don't know how fast I'm going to try, but I'll try. I hope he doesn't get scared. What's that? Oh, he says, 
keep it under the speed limit. We'll see. Okay, so the interior design is the same as last year and the year before. Um, as I said before, it is made for the races and the race cars from England, like the strollers, McLaren, but it's more comfortable if you compare it to the other race cars. And I like the feel of it. It's leather. How do you like it? The carbon fiber trim really adds a nice accent, actually, to the interior, and uh, the screen is quite a... Uh quite nice. Perfect. I, yeah, the trims are nice. I found someone else to interview here and he seems very knowledgeable. What do you like about this car? What's different? Uh, well, I, I like how uh, the, the stitching of the leather all goes throughout the car. Um, the, the center gauge, which is I believe is the tack, is uh, nice and centered for when the driver uh, wants to go maybe a little bit faster. Fiber. Of course, carbon fiber all throughout. Although I'm a little weary that uh, six foot four people such as myself with the top on might not be able to make it in here with uh, there's not more Rooms. Yeah. No, you're Let me, you're too, let me just move it back. <laughs> Alright, we're back. Alright, yeah, yeah, we're you good. We are back. We right. are back. We're yeah. too tall. A little too tall. That's okay. We have to go to the Lombardini for you. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, we'll go there next. the BMW section and there are several kinds Z4S drive starting from 47,000 to 64,000. I love the convertibles. Convertibles as I said have been always my favorite and we are in front of this orange convertible and there's a gentleman who is trying it right now but I like to show you the other ones. Um, it's a great area too of the city and it's a Javits Center. Yes. Um, why did you choose the Javits Center? Well, maybe the Javits Center chose us. The Greater New York Automobile Dealers Association is the entity which owns and operates the New York International Auto Show. And 14 years ago, they wished to partner with a charity that was helping the less fortunate. And fortunately for us, they chose Eastside House Settlement as the charity. We are in effect their guests here this evening. Uh, and over the past 14 years, we've raised a little under $5 million for the purpose of helping young people in the South Bronx achieve their educational dreams. And that's the mission of Eastside House Settlement? That is the mission of Eastside House Settlement. And you're the director of this? Uh, I, am, I, I am the executive director of Eastside Mr. Al John Salman. Sanchez, yes. Thank you. And are you satisfied with the uh, turnout? How many people are you expecting tonight? We're delighted with the turnout. We're expecting 1,500 people or more for both the cocktail party and a sit-down dinner, which will take place a little uh, a little later, later on. on. Yes. I saw it's beautiful, the it, menu. It, and among all the comers, visitors, and people who are going to go to dinner. Do we know any big names, celebrities, uh, sponsors? Can you tell us who, are, who is here today, tonight? Well, I, I guess a name that might be known in popular culture is Eric Sermon, who is a popular rap star, uh, who has a, 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 a new record uh, coming out, I believe this week or next week. So he has donated his time uh, and a, a package that's to be auctioned off later uh, so that folks can uh, 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 do a recording at a, at a music studio. Uh, the New York Mets, through one of our partner organizations, has donated a luxury box uh, that will also be raffled off. So uh, we have a lot of folks here who are uh, very helpful from private industry as well as the public sector. Fashion, I see, I see. Businessman, woman, and the Fendi's. Are they here too? <laughs> uh, Faye, uh, Alessandra and Faye Fendi are longtime supporters of Eastside House, and they are and they are he's here. On yes. The board? Uh, he's not on the board, but uh, as I say, they have uh, chaired the benefit committee for this event for many years now. 